Howdy folks, I'm out here in the workshop, just finished my latest DIY project, and that was one of these, one of the Meinl Make Your Own Cajon kits. And uh, let me give you the breadcrumb trail of how I ended up building a cajon. So um, I actually, first of all, I've liked them, I've seen them, you know, for years, and I always thought they were kind of a cool instrument. Recently, uh, Steve Strings, who uh, he and I did a giveaway together earlier this year, he recently did a review of one of those, posted it on his channel, and I watched the review and I thought to myself, I wonder how hard it is to build a cajon. So I did some, some searching and uh, almost immediately I came across these Meinl kits. So Meinl, if you're not familiar with them, they are a German percussion company, very high quality stuff. They're pretty well known for making good stuff. Um, some of it's pretty affordable, but it, it's, it's all good stuff. And they had these kits and they had a few different kits. And this one is the $49 kit. That's what I got. And I also have a $59 kit, which is the exact same kit, but the front of the cajon here is made of Ovencol wood, or however you say that. I always have trouble with that word. I think it's Ovencol or something, but it's, it's a different type of wood, an exotic wood. Other than that, they're the same. And then they have an $89 kit, which includes some accessories like these little kind of straps they show in the picture for compression, and it includes the glue and, the, and a couple of other accessories, some sanding blocks and such. So it's kind of a more complete kit to get you started. But um, I th it looks like the cajones are very similar. The actual cajones themselves are certainly very similar. And so I just got the cheap one to try it out. And here is the finished product right here. So um, if, you, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you probably saw the liar video that I did a couple weeks back and I did a sunburst. It was my first time painting a sunburst. So I had the leftover toner, so I used it on this and I did a sunburst on the cajon as well, just all around the front. So you can see it's on all four sides. There's the feet that you see on the bottom. On the back, it just has a standard finish. That's where the port is. Um, and uh, I don't know if this will be very easy to tell, but all of these pieces of wood are fairly thick and the front is much, much thinner. I don't know if that's gonna show up too well on the, on the camera, um, but that's by design. Also, the front is screwed on where all the other ones are glued. Again, that's by design, it's standard for a cajon. It has snare wires like right up here that you install when you're putting the kit together. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It's basically a box. I mean, with a hole in the back. That's basically all it is. The little uh, handle there I added just to make it easier to transport because these things are kind of awkward to, to take with you. Um, I've seen some people put like little, like, um, what do you want to call it? Like D-rings so they can throw a strap on it and, and carry it with them. But uh, they are a little awkward to transport just because they're so big and bulky. So I just added that as a little extra. Uh, but you know, nothing special here. It's just a, uh, your basic cajon. Um, the kit was very easy to build. Even if you have no me me uh, musical instrument experience, you could put one of these together. It's not difficult at all. Honestly, what takes the longest time is all of the drying. And what I mean by that is you glue it, the glue, you, you know, you glue it, clamp it, the glue's got to dry. Then, you know, you put everything together and you sand it out. Before you sand it, you're probably going to use some wood filler on any low spots or gaps that you have. Wood filler has got to dry and you sand it all out and then you stain it or you finish it. You know, in this case I did the sunburst, but you stain it first, stain's gonna dry. Do the sunburst, sunburst gotta dry. Clear coat it, clear coat's gotta dry. I feel like you spend more time waiting for this thing to dry than you actually do put it together. I mean, it's like an hour's worth of work, but you know, you got 20 hours of dry time or something involved in all that. But anyway, the point being when it's done, it actually looks really nice. I'm actually really pleased with the way it came out, bumping some of my instruments back here. Uh, but I'm really pleased with the way it came out. And uh, let's do a little sound sample. 